And welcome, everybody, to Awkward Apocalypse, episode 13. Oh, yeah. We are not only recording this episode, but we are videotaping this episode. We are. We're going to be famous on TV and stuff. No. Not really. We're going to be on the interwebs? We'll be on the internet. Maybe on TV. And I didn't even have to show my boobs. <laughs> this time. Maybe you do. I don't know. Oh, I can make that I happen. Like your, uh, I like your sunscreen going on in your nose. Oh, well, I just had to be protected. You can see how pasty white <laughs> the skin is. So We're I just both wanted, pretty white. I wanted to keep it safe. <laughs> keep it good. Super you know. fun. I don't want skin cancer or any of that kind yeah. of crap. With your cool Ninja Turtles shirt. Oh, yeah, and my trunks and my flip. Dude, I am ready. You like your drink? I, this is fantastic. This yeah. is a Sprite and what kind of vodka? Effin Cucumber Vodka. Mm. It's super good. It's like my favorite. I feel like a chick, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> you should. I kind of keep you a, a girly cup. Yeah, <laughs> with, with a straw. All I need now is like a little umbrella. Yeah, well, we were at, we were out of umbrellas. I'm sorry. Oh God damn it. Yeah. I don't know why I come here. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to to welcome you, Greg Jones. Thank you. I'm Jenny O, and I'm just so excited that we're we're recording. And we're, we're outside for those of you who aren't recording. watching. Yeah, we're actually poolside. Yeah, we actually we, <laughs> we're definitely poolside. Yeah. This is fantastic. It's really good. This is what happens when you live in Southern California and it's March. It's awesome. You do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> you it's chill. like a gorgeous seventy-five degrees out. Yeah, <laughs> got an umbrella, a pool. It's a little chilly. Yeah. Earlier, Jenny goes, "It's a little chilly out." Well, it's it like windy. seventy-five. It yeah, windy. seventy-five with like a three-mile-an-hour breeze. A bathing suit, man. Oh, sure, you look fantastic. Thank you. By the way, Thank you. I don't it's know my, why. It's my new uh, my new retro bathing suit. Yeah, it's I good. look like I'm straight out of the forties. <laughs> what do you say, pal? They <laughs> <laughs> say we hit the old swimming pool. Yay! Yeah, sorry. Well, we Anyways, should actually, we should go for swimming. Yeah, once we're done with that, I don't get you know. The it's iPad a little wet. dirty. That's how I like it. Wet and dirty. <laughs> Anyways. So uh, yeah, you, um, any listeners out there can get a hold of us. Uh, Facebook.com slash Awkward Apocalypse. Yes. At Awkward Pod on Twitter. Yes. Awkward Pod at gmail.com. Yes. And uh, phone number 323-379-9225. Oh, you did it. Oh, I always <laughs> do it. Don't you worry. Yeah. So well, this week we got we got a few uh, a few really cool submissions. Not only did we get some stories for Awkward Talk. Yes. Um, but we got new music. This is fantastic. <laughs> wait, wait, this guy just hit us up. Was like, "Hey, will you play our songs?" Yeah. And we're like, "Uh, yes. This is fantastic." Yeah. Dominic White from the band XOXO. Yeah, these guys are great. And they're amazing. They're so they're bluesy. Yeah. When you like, told me, really? I looked them up. I was like, "Wow, good music." I literally could not stop listening yeah. to that work. And we didn't have to suck anybody off to get it either. It's true. Yeah. This yeah, is th- really good. This, I think this is the first time that like anybody's really like just been like, "Hey, I want to be on your show." Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have to go and ask somebody or have like a referral or something. Or a blowjob or anything. Yeah. No Blowskis. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you can, you can uh, find them on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash XOXO music band. And um, it, so I think that they're playing they're playing a lot in LA right now in Orange yeah. County. Uh, I know that they're going to be at the Costa Mesa, uh, at the, I don't know, some some club. You can find them on Facebook, but they're yeah. going to be in uh, Costa Mesa. On yeah, check out their Facebook and their bands, for, or their bands, their website for the yeah, two days events and, and stuff. stuff. But yeah. they, oh, it's so I wonder cool. if they can hook us up. I want to go see them live. And well, not pay for and it. And the guy who who sent us the music, yeah, I think he's their he's their guitarist. And he's okay. actually kind of hot. Is he? Yeah. I didn't look him up. Maybe I'll like go to their show on Tuesday. Oh. So about that Blowski. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks for the music. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. But I'm gonna read a little bit from their uh, from their their Facebook. I'm gonna give you a bio. Uh, they say that they add an element of blues with driving rock guitar and powerful vocals. Their sound is gritty and powerful while being melodic. With wailing vocals and heavy guitar licks that are straight up rock and roll, so. And most importantly, it totally turns Jenny on. But seriously, I'm like, like kind of. Cause I love I love female vocals. Yeah. So the fact that they have they have them, you know, they've got the, the chick in their band, but um, you know, also also some male vocals, which is nice too. Well, you know, it kind of yeah. reminded me because some of the songs are a little more like half and half with the vocals, mm-hmm. and it was like a little bit of like the White Stripes with Hendrix, kind of you know having sex yeah, and making babies yeah yeah it was good i yeah, liked it a so lot groovy. actually i really really enjoyed just listening to it it's one of the, you know one of the bands you actually get where you're like yeah this is we get to show these guys off yeah they want to be on our Stoke. show because yeah. well, they, they've got Suck their uh, they've got that. four tracks uh, for free on their facebook page and i was at work yesterday when i got that email and uh i was like yeah i'm gonna go listen to them see what they're see what they're up to yeah and 
I, I couldn't stop listening to them. <laughs> like the four songs were up and I was like, oh, darn it. <laughs> like I just started listening to them again. <laughs> well, weren't your uh, coworkers making fun of you? It's kind of. They were like, what are you listening to and why are you like over listening to it on repeat? And over. Like, it's what? It's four songs. <laughs> it's like a playlist. And it's totally <laughs> worth it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they're fantastic. Do you check them out as soon as you're done checking us out? I want to... I want to like hang out with them all the time. Yeah, I, but I want them to be playing the whole time too. I think you want to have his baby. N- no, no, it's not like that. I just oh. think he's hot. Oh, okay, like, well, you took him off. I don't even yeah. know him. Not yet, at least. Totally give him a hand ski. Yeah, but you will awesome. know him soon. <laughs> 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 well, Which that that totally doesn't take us into our fuck yeah of the day. Oh, okay. Well, we can make it take us into our fuck yeah of the day because <laughs> fuck yeah. America, fuck yeah. Sorry. So today's fuck yeah of the day is moms. Moms are awesome. Moms. <laughs> <laughs> I say that because that was, today. <laughs> uh, today's fuck yeah is moms. <laughs> I love my mom. Was it last week we did the unicorns? <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite. Unicorns. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah. Uh, that was great. I, I thought that was really funny. Moms no. are pretty awesome. So moms, I think, are probably the greatest, greatest bit of family. You yeah. know, I mean, like you can't, you can't beat mom. I mean, you can, but I you mean, go to jail. <laughs> you don't want, you don't want to beat mom. No, don't beat you mom. You can't win over mom. Like moms always win. Yeah, and, moms uh, are awesome. You only get one of them, and I, I like, I think that today's fuck yeah of the day should be moms because we are at my mom's house. Right. She's being her very gorgeous nice house. In, yeah, letting us, look, letting look us at, look uh, at all this. Use her gorgeous backyard and her pool and her or, you know, furniture out here. Yes. And uh, she, you know, made me a cocktail and. She's amazing. I know that's your mom makes you cocktails. Yeah, that's great. Oh, she she's every time I come over, she's like, "You want a glass of wine? Can I make you a martini?" Is, is <laughs> that like, a question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do fish drink water? Uh, am I over twenty one? Let's do this. Oh, like it matters. So, yeah. <laughs> no, it was awesome once I turned twenty one because we went like we went to Vegas at one point. And we let's yeah, let's I got some lemon drops. It was great. Oh, I so. you know what? I don't even really want to talk about the whole twenty one thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Like that actually takes us into the fuck you of the day. It does. <laughs> uh, please allow me. By all means. My sister turned 21 today. Yesterday. Happy birthday, sister. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Um, I feel so old. I'm in my 20s and I feel old as shit because, like, she's turning 21 and, you know, things are starting to go and, you know, like, I think I need a new hip soon. Oh. <laughs> How old are you? 28? 27. 27? Yeah. When are you turning 28? In July. You're not old at all. I know. I feel old, though. It's You're like, not oh. old. <laughs> what? I, well, I've got a girl, one of my best friends, Stephanie. She's yeah. um, She just turned 29 on Thursday. Mm. And uh, one of our friends was like, enjoy the last birthday of your 20s. <laughs> 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 You're like, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in fact, one of my friends, uh, Rachel, is turning 30 this month. And mm. So we're trying to figure out like what to do for her. Maybe That's do like, a surprise party. Yeah, moving mm. into another decade is yeah. difficult. You know, when you move into your 20s, it's like almost, almost ready to drink. Almost ready. You know, illegally. Yeah. And then when you get you know, to 20, at least 7, I'm just like, man, shoot me by that time, please. 24 and 25 was kind of cool because you can uh, start renting cars. Yeah. Those ages. You know, I rented cars before I was 25. I don't get why people have such a hard problem. Wherever I wanted to, multiple times. Really? Yeah. Like, oh. people was like, oh, you gotta be 25. I was like, really? I, I did it like three or four times before huh. I was 25. Maybe they don't really enforce it. Maybe, maybe not so much. Maybe I have a good record, so it's okay. I don't know. I don't know. Excuse me, let me adjust my mic here. It's weird. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get it. Are but. you getting sunscreen on your mic? Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Had to keep the nose protected, though. Yeah, it's true. It's important. Let me play to the camera for a second here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, so how was your week? Birth- birthdays and uh, uh, you know, it was good. A lot of drinking. Um, thir- you know, she turned 21 Friday, mm-hmm. so Thursday night at midnight took her out, had some drinks, started her off with a blowjob. She excited. Yeah. It was started her off with a blowjob. You know, the the drink, the shot. Oh. Where you gotta take it with your <laughs> mouth. Wow. No um, <laughs> I was almost really concerned. No, about I your gave family my sister a blowjob. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> She demanded it. <laughs> like you just started like fucking your face. Like <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, actually, she was fucking mine. It was <laughs> okay, all right. So you got her a blowjob. Yeah, uh, you know, a nice. few, few of the drinks got a nice buzz going for it, and then you know went to work the next day, and then uh, drank it up yesterday. But 
I kind of had a situation arise, and I I wanted to. In fact, as was happening, I was like, I gotta ask Jenny about this. Okay. She'll know. It's with a girl. I am the all knowing. Well, you're a female, and you're not retarded, so. (laughs) Thank you. You meet my qualifications of asking you girl questions. Okay. I was with this girl, and she likes the whole having the the toes sucked. Um, Hmm. I don't like. In fact, I've never done that because uh, that's it's your dirty, stinky toes. And you're not even fresh out of a shower right now. So why would I even (laughs) consider doing that? (laughs) She's like, and so then I got this one. Well, other guys have done it. I said, well, congratulations. What's their number? Give them a call and they can (laughs) suck on your fucking toes. Man, you Uh, are harsh. I guess. But it's like, I don't want to suck on your toes. I'm not asking you to lick my asshole. If I'm down for that. Well, first of all, how I feel about toes. Yeah. How do you feel about toe sucking? And then, like, am I an asshole for not sucking on toes? You're not an asshole for not wanting to suck on her toes. Okay. First off. That's um, good. I mean, there's, she she put it out there. You said no, and that should be that. Yeah. You know, and th- and that out. should go for any for any weird thing in bed. I mean, if it's yeah, if it's not like penis in vagina, like you should ask permission. Right. <laughs> you know. I still ask on that sometimes. Like, I mean, you know, if a if a guy wants to put a finger somewhere, like, ask permission. Finger. Yeah. Playing to the camera again. I'm sorry. Good work. Yeah. Good work. Um, and you know, most of the time when somebody asks me permission to do that, I say no, but, <laughs> um, you know, I was, I was, uh, seeing a guy like, I don't know, maybe a year ago or something. Uh-huh. And, um, he, he w- just uh, like just started sucking on my toes. Oh, it, like and I, I had no control over it. He just started doing it. And I was like, oh, that's what's. <laughs> so good about that. Oh, so it was good. It was awesome. Really? Yeah, it was really because re- it was just it was in the heat of the moment and yeah, it was. And you know, I I it was something new and exciting and yeah. you know, it just he just did it. And while I didn't feel violated, I think if I had really had a problem with that, then I would have you know said something. But I just let him do it. And it, and, and it was a tool. And at first, was it like what the f- oh? I yeah, a little uh, bit, but like yeah. in my head. Yeah. And and then I didn't want him to stop. Um, <laughs> there is. There's only been like one guy since then that's been like down for that. Yeah. But I don't like a- I don't ask everybody. I'm just like, do you right? You're not gonna be like, hey, suck do it, do like it. Like, like, you know, to you it's like, hey, the toes are there. Right. If you felt like right. sticking a couple of piggies in your mouth. Right. Letting them go it's, to town. You know, it's th- it's this weird. How do I describe it? It's like walking on Jello. Never like done that, that. Like that feeling of like that squishiness in yeah. between your toes. You've never huh. found like Jello wrestling or anything like that. I've only watched. Never participated. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Maybe Watching like maybe fun. like stepping on a slug. Okay. I know it's like that's the worst. That's the worst analogy. But seriously, it's like it. It's that oozy gushy feeling, but it's like a really good one. <laughs> yeah. It's really quiet. Yeah, it was well. It's because yeah, I'm, I suck at life. No. Anyways, yes. uh, yeah. Well, but yeah. I'm down. I'm down for it. Okay. And, um, so sh- so should I maybe try it now? Uh, the one guy who just spontaneously did it, you didn't know it was going to happen, obviously. Right. Now, if you wanted this to happen, like if you were prepared to ask a dude to suck on your toes, would you shower first? I would scrub those babies clean. Right. Like, so. Like, so give clean. me some fucking and then sandpaper. I, and then, like, before I even get out of the shower, grit. I would, like, put on some, like, clean socks and mm-hmm. then, like, tiptoe to bed. Right. And then, like, then, not like, touch any. Like, my feet your wouldn't feet touch anything and, until yeah. it happened. Right. And then that would be it. Um, because I. I'm a firm believer in don't put things in your mouth if you don't know where they've been. And <laughs> when it comes to the ground, that is the Ugh. the the worst. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're sort of on my side here. Totally. So I'm not like weird for not wanting to suck. Her you're dirty absolutely feet. not weird for not wanting to do that. Okay. Thank um, you. I I would say you know someday you might find somebody that you feel comfortable with doing that with. Like maybe, maybe you're even like you're in a bathtub with some girl and they're just like taking a bath in a nice cool. And, Jacuzzi bathtub and right. like some cool like Vegas suite, right? That because all that the time. happens like every weekend, almost and daily. Yeah, yeah, and you're just you know, bathing, some bubbles in there. Bathing. <laughs> yeah, you're just bathing. Right. And and right. you know it just happens. I, I might consider it. Don't then. force yourself. No. You know if it's if it's icky, then yeah. don't do it. Yeah, you know? I, I like your I like your motto there. If it's icky, don't do <laughs> it. It's icky, don't do it. New T-shirt. Like butt sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not icky. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, it can Maybe be for you. Actually, it can be. Me- Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> we'll get off that subject. <laughs> well, thank you for enlightening me, we, enlightening me and making me not feel so stupid anymore. No she, problem. She did a good job of making me feel like an idiot. Like, well, other guys have done it. Well, they're fucking weird. So. Yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> shit. Like I was, I was 25 when this first happened. Yeah. You know, so it's not like it's all that common. Right. And she's 24 and she's had like three guys. Well, do Well, she's it. probably asked all sorts of people. She's probably a hooker. She's probably a whore. Yeah. <laughs> mostly i don't know what kind of girls you're staring with <laughs> whoever will sleep with me um so well thank you yeah no problem yeah. how was your week it was good it was really was it? good i had i had kind of a weird situation okay and uh, i'm not sure what to do about it okay so there's there's a guy that i've been like kind of hanging out with lately yeah yeah and he's very nice um a little older than me oh so i don't know how i feel about a that. lot older like, like 12 year difference oh um and he, yeah he's very nice uh he's he's talented unfortunately he's an actor and you know how much i love that yeah um yeah i hate actors not that I hate actors. I just don't want to date them. Is he I don't, a comedian well, I don't want to be dating somebody that can pretend to be something else like okay. on a professional level. Well, I'm always afraid of dating like a psychologist who could just break me down. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that That's actually really scary. Yeah. Kind of hot. Hot but scary. It's scary. I just become like their You're mental normal. slave. You're normal. Thank you. Ish. <laughs> Whatever. Ish. Anyways. <laughs> Something. And uh, so, yeah. So, I mean, we hung out a couple times and we had a really good, really good time together. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I invited him to this movie function. It was a screening of The Incredible Burt Wonderstone. Ah, now I'm remembering. I have a cardboard cutout of a Steve Carell as Burt <gasps> Wonderstone. I was do gonna, you really? I was going to put it in oh, the background. We'll do it at the break. He'd be great to have in the chair. <laughs> I want to put him here. We should do that. <laughs> it's so funny. I can't wait. Anyway, so, we're, so we saw, we were going to see this movie. He said, I told him it showed up at 7. Yeah. And the movie was going to start at 7.30. Okay. 7.22 rolls around and I get a text message. Where are you? And I'm like, I'm saving you a seat. Right. <laughs> totally here. In here. And and he was like, oh, I'm still, I'm at the bar. I'm like, okay, I'll come and get you, I guess. Yeah. And I had to like go out and find him. And he was just like, where have you been? I was like, I've been here for an hour. Right. And he was like, well, you didn't come and find me. I was like, how the fuck was I supposed to know you were here? Yeah. So I was, I don't know, I was kind of peeved and whatever. Now, do you think he's really been there for an hour? Oh, yeah. Because he, he had ordered like three drinks oh, already. Okay. Like he smelled like booze. Um, Sounds like a good date. Yeah, kind of, but I guess he'd been waiting there for me. Like he ordered me a drink, <laughs> and was just like it was just sitting there. But so as the movie's going on, like at one point he like answers a phone call. What? And he was like, I go, I'm, like, I'm in a movie theater. Seriously, I, go, I can't talk to you. And like he puts it down, and I thought that was really rude. Racist time. Is he a black chick? <laughs> no. Oh, that's no, weird. he's Hawaiian, Aloha. Polynesian. He says. Oh. Um, Likely story. Yeah. Well, he is. He's very very Hawaiian. Oh. Um, then. Like, he, like, kind of tried to, like, touch my leg mm-hmm. during the movie. And, like, I was like, okay, I could I could do that. But, yeah. you know, but then he, like, backed off and then, like, nothing oh. for the rest of the movie. Oh, that's as just soon awkward. as the movie, the, the credits start to roll, he's out going to the bathroom. I go out there, can't find Zip. him. Uh, I go to the bathroom. I come out and I see him just, like, standing there kind of awkwardly but, like, trying to look cool. Of course. And uh, then we're going down the stairs. We're at the arc light. We're going down the stairs to go back to the entrance. And I'm asking him if he, for this is the third time I'm asking him, by the way, which before he hadn't given me an answer. I was asking him if he wanted to come out with um, with me and, and my coworkers because it was Stephanie's birthday. Okay. And we were going to go out for drinks. Happy birthday, Stephanie. Happy birthday, Stephanie. A little late. <laughs> and he still, again, couldn't give me a straight answer. And I was just like, fuck it. Yeah. Whatever. Like, I'm not even, I'm tired of asking. And... Then we're at the bottom of the staircase. I'm talking to my friends. Like, we're trying to figure out plans, driving plans. He disappears. So we're leaving, and I'm just, I'm what? like, fuck it. I don't, I'm not his fucking babysitter. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't want to worry about it. Right. So we start heading out. I see him outside smoking a cigarette. And I'm like, are you coming? And he's like, he's like trying to. He's like, to yes, I am. Just give me a second. Yeah. And he does. And he's just looking at me like smoking a cigarette. Like, he doesn't, it's like he, he doesn't hear me or something. And I'm like, okay the hell i'm giving you one last chance and i started counting like a like a child yeah like like he was a child like three two one okay you're not coming we're we're out (laughs) and so you're in timeout yeah so like we go and pay for our parking and then we start walking back to the car and he's still standing in the same spot done with his cigarette by this point and then i get a text message from him like at 11 o'clock at night um uh, you know, I, I'm not used to being treated like that, but it's okay. I'm a big boy, yada, yada, yada. What? I, I was pissed. I was like, what the fuck, dude? 
And then the next, I mean, yesterday, uh, we like kind of reconciled and stuff, but I just don't know. It was so fucking weird. Is, now, did so you explain your end of the story as you just did? Yes. And what did you, like, how was his response? He, he was saying like that, you know, from the moment he showed up, I wasn't like being nice to him or something. What? I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Well, I'll give an update some other time, but uh, that's weird. I was so mad. That is that know. is very weird. Can I, can I, uh, I'm like all pissed off. Can I like yeah. turn this around? I, I want to ask you, what would you do it? Oh, let's get into it. Because... And then, we'll, and then we'll take a break. Me in a better that. mood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Would you go skinny dipping with a hot girl? Yep. If it means her ugly friend that has a crush on you is coming along. Mmm. That's awkward. <laughs> 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 because then it's the name like, of the game, honey. Right, I know. <laughs> so, oh man, does the was does the hot girl like me too, or do I like her? You like her, and let's just say there's a chance of her liking you. But the ugly girl, like you have to, you kind of have to convince me. her, right? Like this is your chance to show her who <laughs> well, you are. If I'm trying to convince her, a skinny dip is not the way. To go. <laughs> I mean, uh, it'll it'll totally work out. Um, it's dark. Uh, How's yeah. that? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, then I'll totally do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I would. I would totally do it. Yeah, I mean, it'd be <laughs> weird having crazy ugly bitch like all up on my nuts, but. Uh, we do it. Just drown her. Okay. Yeah, I do yeah, it. No problem. Yeah. Hot chick. You see, no hot chick naked like is never a bad day. Throw a hot dog like, you know, down onto the lawn or something. Right. And oh, have so her she's fat now too. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Like, yeah. You know, just something to distract her. Here goes like Cheetos. Like a dog, like yeah. you know, throw a treat or something. Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> 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 can you pick that up for me? And then like yeah. run away really fast. Right. Yeah. Zip. <laughs> All right. Um, can we take a break? Is that sure. cool? Yeah, absolutely. Running out of time on the old camera machine over there. No problem. So we'll take a little break. Uh, here's a little more from uh, XOXO, yeah. who make me just want to go have sex with myself. Oh, so Don't you want to go have sex with yourself now? I want to have so sex with everything right now. Including these songs. I want to have sex with this guy's guitar. He's amazing. Yeah. He's really good. Anyways, you I'm can get a set. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a good shape. Uh, you can get <laughs> us on Facebook, facebook.com slash awkward apocalypse. Uh, twat with us at awkward pod. You can uh, awkward pod at gmail.com for any stories you want to email us or whatever. Or bands. Hey, we take more bands, by yeah. the way. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to call us 323 379. 9225. That's right. We'll be back <laughs> after we have sex with ourselves. Hey everybody, it's Rebound from the Charity Strike. Send across me, Trigger Mike. Yeah, that's him. Anyways, dude, why do you think people should listen to the show? To say so, Trigger. That is the worst idea ever. You should listen to the Charity Strike because I think I'm effing hilarious. And what I think goes. What? Anyways, you should check us out for sports updates, humor, all the good stuff. We are the best slash worst sports show ever. So check us out at thecharitystrike.com, facebook.com slash thecharitystrike, and you know we're on iTunes. Oh, daddy, yo! tell you good. dude this is good unlike us we're funky not fresh <laughs> i'm really digging the songs welcome back into the awkward apocalypse everybody this is greg that's still jenny, jenny. she's gracie drinking. yeah <laughs> of course you are <laughs> me too mine's a little melty but i got three go get some though. ice that's ah, too late for that want some of my ice yeah want some ice, baby? yes please <laughs> anyways this time. is uh xoxo There's just a little bit of awesomeness we give you all the info at the top of the show but do you go check them out fish.com slash xoxo band i think i had that right i'm not reading xoxo music band that's it yeah that's what i meant to say <laughs> so do check them out they're they're fucking amazing i'm gonna let this song play out while we move on to the rest of the show yeah with your permission of course of course all right let's do it then awkward talk oh wait no no, no, no! I wanna, I wanna read a, an iTunes review. I forgot. Review. Yes, I, mean, I almost, I almost skipped over. We're it. getting a lot of them, but um, we are. We're some starting really to really cool ones, and I wanna have like maybe yeah. one per episode. I think that's great. They're starting to flow in. I almost skipped over it because I'm a douche. This one is from 
Sorry. A You're bug. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just came and landed on my hand. We are outside. Also, people. there's a dead butterfly under the table. You butterfly away. <laughs> this one is from La La Love 13. It's called Potastic. Five stars. She says, Sexy show. You guys make me bust up. Love how Jenny shows the boys how it's done. Yeah. Subscribe already. There you go. I like it. Yeah. I wish she would have said something about me being awesome, but you know, can't get everything we want. It's okay. You chose the review to read. I did, actually. I, like I should stop being such a little whiny bitch. <laughs> but I need to get some tweets real quick before we move on, if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, one of our, our followers, Albert Lamb, at, cal- at Corkscrewed02, was suggesting that my new nickname, we were talking about me having a nickname on the last show, my new nickname should be The Great Balkuzi. Yes. Like a magician, basically. And I told him I totally approved. And he said, hooray, make it so. Now imagine how that magic show would be like. <laughs> and he goes on. For the great Balcuzini's Bal- next trick, drum roll, surprise, my dick's in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes on. The great Balcuzini Bal- can also perform juggling tricks with testicles and pull dildos out of his sleeves. Hashtag sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I forgot to bring Burt Wonderstone out. Oh, that's Shit, all right. Whatever. Next show. We'll yeah. get him in there eventually. Hey, oh, man. I, just, I love magic. Yeah. So much. I'm like a huge so magic, much that it's part of your career somewhat. Sort of. Um, sort of. But yeah, I thought that was but great. But I love that we can incorporate magic talk. And I'm great that he started a hashtag, the Great Balcuzini. The Great Balcuzini. Yeah. So it's not it's not Greg Totally Doable Jones anymore? Yeah, you can go either way. If you want to you know, go with the long name, it's Greg Totally Doable Jones. If I'm performing, it's Great Balcuzini. If only I could say my own name. <laughs> okay, you'll get me started. That's what they all tell me. <laughs> Still hurts. <laughs> Oh, wrong thing. Anyways, now we can move on. Yeah. If you will. Well, I want to do a quick shout out to the Four Sisters in a Bottle podcast. Oh, they like you a lot. I like them. They find you wildly sexy. They're really fun. They are. They're actually really, really fun. <laughs> uh, we appreciate their listening. They talk about all sorts of gross things. Oh, my God, they do. They, they've they puked on air before. Are you serious? Yeah. Like because they were too drunk? No, or they what? were eating uh, belut, which is a Filipino thing. Oh, right. What is that? Where it's like the... I don't remember if it's a duck or a chicken. I think it's, I don't know. It's like still in the egg. What? And it's like rotten or something. What? What? <laughs> you never heard of this? No. Uh, let me look it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's just fucking utterly Belut, disgusting. Belut, you called it? Yeah, B-E-L-U-T, I believe. That sounds right. really awful. Yeah, anyways, uh, let me let me Google this. Yeah, a blue is a fertilized duck embryo that is boiled and eaten in the shell. That's fucking nasty. Mm, no, no, I would not eat that. Uh, uh. I got asked yesterday um, how much how much would my friend have to pay me for me to eat a human eyeball? How much? I said five million. Oh, a, a cool five. Yeah. You, you and should so, tell him that. And cool uh, my my boss was like, I wouldn't do it for a billion, and I was like, I was like, well, I'd do then it for five. Stupid. And somebody else was like, I would maybe do it. I would maybe do it for a billion. And I was like, I'll do it for half. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, 500. Yeah, no, might as well. Totally, totally would do it. I could use a little money yeah. on the side. <laughs> I'll do it for 5%, really, honestly. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for a blowjob and a tall can of Bud Light. Not that I really want to eat an eyeball, but no. I just think the money would be great and it would be a really easy way to make it. It'd be worth 5 billion. Yeah. 5 million? Yeah. Yeah, I think... Yeah. I think like even give me number. even cool give me five. like a hundred thousand dollars and I would probably eat a human eyeball. Yeah, but but, <laughs> but start high and then work your way down. Yeah, I mean if know. they wanted to like negotiate. Right. Yeah. yeah oh, ten million. Oh, <coughs> how about a hundred thousand? Definitely not going to make me eat yeah. a human eyeball though. Maybe get your way to four. Damn mil. it! Really wanted a five like million. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> An eyeball for twenty dollars. Imagine what else no, I could get. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that for twenty dollars. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Now for realsies this time. Let's do a little awkward talk. Yeah. Yeah. Except. Except now oh. I can't see. Yeah, you start. Okay. Anyways, this week's awkward. <laughs> please say awkward talk for me. Oh, awkward talk. There it is, right yeah. there. Let me play to the camera for a second. Hi, camera. Awkward talk. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dork. Mm-hmm. I like <laughs> sunscreen. <laughs> you put a camera on. You're gonna man. turn all the ladies on. Yeah. Well, it's too late. Get your paper towels ready. Anyways, <laughs> awkward talk this week was cheating and uh, cheating of all all sorts, whether it's you or your friend or your parents or or whatever it was, you know. Um, I have a couple of, of stories, I guess, if you will, about cheating. Um, so I'll just start it off and be real awkward about it. I was with a girl for six years who one day ran into 
I guess kind of an old fling of hers that she kind of messed around with like in high school and stuff. You know, we were living together. Been together. At that point, it was like two months shy of six years. And they started talking and then they started hanging out and then they started doing stuff. <sighs> yeah, it was great. Six years. Six years. <laughs> I was like, really? And uh, one, one of the responses was, well, if we were married, this wouldn't happen. <gasps> I said, well, thank fucking God we're not married. What? Yeah, I was like, because this would be a pricey divorce. Oh, my God. How did you find out? Um, but, you know, she'd been acting really weird for a couple of days, uh, very un- uncharacteristic. Every night we'd go out for a walk. We'd walk a couple of miles, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, that's also when we talked a lot, too. Just, you know, whatever happened today, whatever. And uh, she was just fucking silent for a couple of nights straight on our walks. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, what's up? And then she wouldn't, you know, say anything. And then one night she's like, I just I can't sleep. I can't sleep in the bed. I'm not comfortable. Okay. I'm going to go sleep, not on the couch. I'm going to sleep on the floor. <laughs> I was like, what? Like she was like putting herself in the timeout? Yeah, like it didn't even make sense. It's like, you know, I've had nights where I just couldn't fall asleep and I've gone down to the couch, watched a little TV. Sure. Of, yeah, it makes sense. So I'm going to sleep on the floor next to my comfortable bed. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I knew something was up because it's like, that's that's not a, no, can't that's not sleep. Normal. That's, you feel guilty or something. So I did the horrible thing. And this was a few years ago. Hacked into her MySpace. Oh, God. By hacked, I mean we literally know each other's passwords. Sure. Right? We still know each other's passwords. Like, I could probably get into her bank account if I had to. Yeah, don't do that. No, I won't. That's, there's no- that's illegal. There's nothing in there anyways. Oh. Um, so, I saw a couple of messages between her and her friends saying, like, I don't know what to do. You know, obviously, I love Greg, but I really like this boy and blah, mm. blah, blah. And I was like, oh, fuck. Very sleepless night. Part of me was like, I'm going to punch her and wake her up right now. Yeah. We apologize for the plane flying over. Uh, <laughs> the other part of me was like, we well. We live near a little airport. Yeah, so. that's true. <laughs> I was like, I guess I'll just wait till morning. So I, I kind of was like half asleep the entire night. And she always woke up a lot earlier than me because I, I worked like the overnight shift. Oh, okay. And so as soon as she was up, I was up. And she's like, oh, what are you doing up? I was like, are you cheating on me? That was mm. just, that's how I opened up my, my skit there. And she's like, what? I was like, real simple question. <laughs> Are you cheating on me? She's like, what? Uh, well, not cheat. Oh, no. I was like, so you're sort of like, there's n- it's a yes or there's no, no kind of thing. In, in between middle ground gray yeah, area. It's not, yeah, it's not a gray area situation. No. You are or you're not. And so she, you know, we t- I told her how I found out and we started talking and she said, I'm so sorry. You know, I just memories and good times, but I love you so much. And so. I was like, fuck, I don't know. So, you know, a lot of thinking about it, a lot of me going crazy. I was like, all right, let's let's try and work things out, I guess, because, you know, it's been so long. Sure. And, and the more we tried to work things out, uh, the more she would go fuck around on me. And Seriously? Just, like, yeah. you even gave her a second chance, even oh, after she I'm, was, like, so I, guilty? I think the chances went up to, like, 43 or 44 at that point. <sighs> and she, you know, one morning, I, I went, I took the day off work. I went to her work, and I brought her breakfast because I knew she had, had, like, a shitty day the day before. And I get there, I was like, hey, I got breakfast, let's, you know, let's hang out for a few, because we never saw each other, like, she kind of moved out for a few weeks, you know. She's like, oh, I'm so glad you're here, blah, blah. and I look, and she's got hickeys on her neck. Oh, come on. And I was like, you know what, fuck you. You don't and even, just, if you're not even going to try to hide it. Yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, and I just left. I was so angry. Wow, so, you were, like, trying to bring her food and be all nice. Yeah, I was trying to be nice, I hadn't seen her in a few days, and, uh, you know, really missed her and all that stuff, like a like a pansy. <laughs> and uh, got fucked over that way, so. Wow. Ben- finally, you know, she moved out, and then. Uh, I had to move out because you know two incomes going down to one was right, and then and then kind of lost my job right after that, so I really had to move out. So, um, but yeah, yeah it was like a rough time. Yeah, it was shitty. It was good times. It sucks. Yeah. Sorry so. to hear that. Yeah. Well, you know. A bummer. Yeah, I guess she did me a favor in the end. Yeah, I've never been like really like really 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 cheated on or hurt, like hurt via cheating. Yeah. Like except for uh, not it wasn't for me. It's like my parents. My dad cheated on my mom, mm. and. My this way I was 17 years old, so I was still in high school. I was uh-huh. graduating in the next six months or whatever. And uh, <clears throat> my mom tells me like sometime right after my birthday. Okay. Uh, in August, late August, and she's like, "Hey, I caught your dad cheating. I don't know what to do. Like, you know, I I don't want to split up the family, but you know, I I don't I really can't be with him anymore because clearly he's, you know, he's probably he's you know he's probably been doing this for a long time. Yeah. She actually uh. Uh, was able to hack into his email account. With I know yeah. what that's like. Yeah. No, I mean, but like she didn't know all his passwords. This oh, was like a secret email like account. Hacking. Like she had to find the email account. Oh my God. 
find get how figure did, out how the did she know it existed she's just a hunch she just well she knew that he was cheating or she knew that something was going on because yeah. he was he, he's a he's in the medical field and he would go to these conferences and conventions usually in the area yeah this one was in new york oh <laughs> so not very normal yeah and he was and so you know he had her like pack everything for him and like do all this stuff and then she and then she started thinking once he's gone she's like he never goes like that's just what is this conference in in new york she that's so big packed his bags to go fuck some other chick yep turns out that there was no convention going on in new york was he even in new york uh, he was in new york oh. um because she, i think i think she saw the plane ticket and or she had to get him to the airport or what i don't even know what it was oh. but um yeah, I guess the the woman was Canadian, which is why I hate Canadians. Well, I don't, don't. Hate, I don't really hate Canadians, but I have other reasons. I hate this Canadian. <laughs> I hate a couple Canadians. Yeah, and um, they're just so damn nice. Don't you hate it? But like, but they get in the way of fucking relationships, man. Apparently, anyway, is so that a Canadian trait. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> they. Just, I think they just like American guys. Yeah. Um. In that case. So yeah, so my mom catches him. She asks me, and I'm like, dude, mom, if. If he's doing this to you, you need to leave. Yeah, of course. Because she had actually filed for divorce a year earlier and decided to stick it out and see what they could do. Oh. Um, but I did have one, one request for her. I was like, can you please just give us one more Christmas with dad, like as a family? Mm. And so she did that. So on December 28th, uh, I think it was 2003, Yeah. she served him. She had somebody serve him the paperwork. Three days after Christmas. That's yeah. awesome. But, you know, she was like, yes, I can. But I think it was probably the most tormented four months of her entire life. I think that is so cool of your mom to actually, like, wait it out till Christmas. It was it was very nice of her. And I think she understood. Yeah. yeah she, she, That's you know, super like, cool. Let us, let us have a family for, like, a little while longer Yeah. before it all goes down in flames. Yeah. <laughs> we have a kitty Here cat. Here comes yeah. a kitty cat. Uh, so yeah, then the d- the divorce is kind of like still fucking going on. Like really, oh, ten years later. Yeah, he's is he dragging like, it out? Legal fees and uh, I mean, who? I mean, it's his fault that it's his fault, fault oh, because okay. he'll like he's got like hidden accounts and like he's uh, he just doesn't drop off child support for my brother. Anyway, um, oh classy. But my mom actually did give him a, give him a few chances. She was like, well, how about you just ditch the girl. When he couldn't ditch the girl, yeah, that, I mean that's kind of like that what was I like did. the last straw. Yeah, um, you know, first he tried doing like saying let's go to counseling, and he said I don't want to bring in a third party, but of course, <laughs> you know, he'd already brought in a third party. Yeah, that's a different so, kind of third party. Yeah, it was kind of a shitty situation, but she, uh, you know, I asked her. She was talking about it today, and she yeah. was like, you know, just. Just so you know, I'm not bitter about it anymore. Like I'm actually, you know, because she's. I mean, obviously she has, she has a beautiful house. She's yeah. got kids that love her, and um, <laughs> she. She's she like, I'm not bitter, but fuck you. <laughs> well, you know, she. I think it took her a while to realize that it wasn't her fault. Yeah. She didn't drive him to cheat. He was just bored. Yeah. You know, like. I guess that happens. Yeah, like it. It happens all the time, and I mean, they, there's no other reason for people to cheat other than the fact that they just don't. They want something else right now. They're yeah. bored with what they have. And, and you can't be mad at somebody for getting bored, but you can be mad about how they go about fixing that situation. Right. I mean, he could have done a hell of a lot more than that. Mm-hmm. Um, but luckily, that's all over. <laughs> yeah, that's Ugh. shitty. Yeah. I don't talk to him anymore. I got daddy issues. No, apparently. I hate him. You're everyone's favorite new girl. <laughs> daddy <laughs> issues, huh? <laughs> Jenny's number yes. is... no. <laughs> um, wow, well, I'm sorry. Three to two three. <laughs> Nine two two five. Call with your, uh, you know, wanting to get with Jenny. Yeah. Right. Send me your resumes. Yeah. <laughs> and cock pictures. And yeah, penis photos. Right. You got to measure up, literally. Yeah. All right. Just um, be aware that Greg will be filtering them. Right. I'm only going to send her the best of the best. The best of the best. Yeah. I'm kind of like the bouncer. Yeah. Yeah. Not everyone <laughs> gets through. <laughs> or in. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, one. Maybe you've had this kind of cheating situation come up. I have a friend who is a habitual cheater. Um, in fact, he just can't stop sticking his penis in holes. Seriously? You know him. Okay. He used to be on the charity strike. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's true. He is. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't get how he does it's it. It's so weird because he... Is he Go ever gonna listen to this? He's going to listen to this. I don't know. Or I don't find him as... I don't find him to be one of the most attractive men I've ever met. And that's like really putting it nicely. I say that's the nicest that's way. That's really heard you putting say it that. nicely. Yeah, and very uh, nicely. I mean, he's got he's got a great personality when he's feeling like he he gives a shit. Right, and he's fun to talk to, and he's a funny guy. Yeah, he's oh, he's so. interesting. I'm wiping off my sunscreen. But <laughs> but he's kind of a douche. Yeah, like yeah. he's probably actually he's probably one of the douchiest guys I've ever met, and he prides himself on this. He does. Yeah, he does. Oh, so. I got a story about him. <laughs> he is going to get a rock star, like the, the energy drink, rock star mm-hmm. tattoo on himself, and they're going to put him in a magazine. He's like, they're going to sponsor me. 
And I said, That's oh, not so you're sponsoring. I was like, so you're getting paid? He goes, no, they're just putting me on the cover. I was like, so you are such a narcissist that you'll take the tattoo just to be on a cover of a magazine that four people will see? He's like, yeah, isn't it fucking awesome? <laughs> that's interesting because... Uh, that's really stupid. Yeah. First off. Anyways, it, I gave a little bit of shit. I'm on a cover of a magazine right now. Not me personally, but oh. my photo is. Really? Yeah, and I have like a whole two-page spread. Well, plug it. In, what the uh, hell? In Magic Circular. It's <laughs> it's a magic magic magazine, uh, so it's not that not that impressive. But it's really cool, and That's and they uh, they actually no, contacted us, and and my boss was like, oh yeah, I know I know just the girl. They had me send them a bunch of photos, and and yeah, one of my photos is, is straight up on the cover of this quarter's Magic Circular. Congratulations! I'm stoked. That is awesome. Thank you. So yeah. Uh, anyways, but back to Dushi McDusherson. Yep. He was with a girl once that I didn't know before him, obviously, but we all became very good friends. This when I was with my ex that cheated on me, mm-hmm. and you know the the four of us would hang out and party and whatever. We were, we were a close knit group, if you will. Um, he started cheating on her, and so then I'm in this awkward position of. Well, what do, you do? do I tell her? I mean, he's my friend first. And, you know, any other girl he's ever cheated on, I don't give a shit. That's their problem for being with him. But, you know, this girl, they've been together for a long time. We'd all become friends. It's like, uh, mm-hmm. I got, you know, I was like, do I bros before hoes or do I tell the chick to get the fuck out of there? Yeah. Um, I went the bros before hoes route. Okay. But they did not last much longer. Okay. Anyway, so it wasn't the worst thing in the so world. So at least there wasn't like a whole lot of heartbreak and drama. Yeah, I just I just it. felt bad like writing him out since he was my friend first. Yeah, I try to be loyal, but I was like, who would I be loyal to in this? Do situation? you ever do, like? Do you ever think back and think maybe maybe it would have been better to like give him an ultimatum, like say, you know, hey yeah. man, I know what you're doing and I'm not cool with it. If you don't tell her that I'm going to, or like at least b- at least break up with her easy. <sighs> yeah, or something. You don't have to tell her you're cheating, but or just do dump something her. really dumb to yeah. like she breaks up with you. You know, just like whatever. Just to, just end it. To I make don't know. That happen. I don't think that because they're not together anymore yeah so it, it's not an issue at all so you don't really no I, I don't worry but i think if they were to still be together mm-hmm. then there might be some like dude yeah. you need to fucking tell her yeah. or stop because how long something. were they together at this point uh i think in all they're together for like four or five years wow yeah. really a long time now holy shit it took them a long time to get to that point yeah but but um at what point did he cheat on her Towards the end. Towards the end. Okay. Yeah. So he was. So he was looking. Yeah. Strange. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Honestly, very surprised. Yeah. So. I've never said that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh, anyways. Yeah. Well, so. I got a. Um, we actually got a an email submission. Oh. It was probably about twenty pages long. Yes. Uh, so I had it was to. A novel. I had to sort of um, paraphrase it, and it's still really long, but. <laughs> but it's really, really interesting. Okay. So I, so I'm actually very excited to to be able to to read this to you guys. Um, this is a girl that I've known for for you know a little while now, and um, uh, she's she's the sweetest girl, one of the sweetest girls I've ever met. Okay. Um, and she says most people I'd say have a story about how they were cheated on once or twice in their lives. I, however, have a story about how I was cheated on for three years. Oh. Uh, the first time. The first time he was cheating or she caught him cheating, she saw text messages on his phone from a girl who he said was just an old friend. Uh, okay. He later told her that he used to be sleeping with her. Oh. Or he used to sleep with her. Uh, the text the, the text that she found was, would you like to come by and lay with me for an hour? My mom won't be home. Lay with me. Because he lived with his mom. I, uh, I like the whole come lay with yeah, me. Yeah, come lay with me for that an hour. Sounds very Amish. Uh, her response was, I'd love to. You know I always do. Oh. So that's how she found out first. And then um, she left him, but she ended up coming back because she actually believed that he could change. She Sorry. caught him cheating again when she saw another text saying to some other girl, uh, please come over tonight. I really want to see you come over and I will give you really a really nice massage. You are gorgeous and I am so attracted to you. Please send me a picture of you just in your bra and panties. So was he actually fucking her? Yeah, no, he was having sex with all these girls. Oh, he okay. just, these, these, these were just the text messages that she found. Because they sound like they're Mormon. No. <laughs> no just like i want to see you in your brown panties he's like this, like, like bulldog looking mexican guy oh and he's dangerous and see. i'll tell you why in a little bit mucho um should we be talking about him on the air then it's fine he's never okay. gonna listen to this um she didn't leave him then but she says that she should have because the next time is the worst mm. uh he was on his way to the bar and said or that they they would go to a bar all the time together he was mm. on his way and he asked her to, to let him go for guy time and so she stayed home and um and but then started to realize like he had been acting kind of suspicious lately. So she showed up at the bar at one in the morning. No, oh. uh, he got pissed and would walk away from her uh, whenever she would try to talk to him. Uh, then, uh, like she she caught him 
like going home with this girl. Oh my god! Uh, like he like he disappeared at one point. Like she was kind of distracted by somebody else. He disappeared. Yeah. Turns out like one of his friends were like, "Oh yeah, he left with another girl." And so she was able to was like she rushed over to his house. She beat him there. They showed up at like two thirty in the morning with like McDonald's. Um, Holy shit! And they left the door unlocked. So once she saw them go in, she went in like a couple minutes later. No. Caught him in his bedroom, her in the bathroom. He started like freaking out at her, calling her a psycho motherfucker. Like she ended up on his lawn in the front yard, like crying. Like her, his brother had to like carry her out of the house. Really? And um, turns out like the girl had stayed the night. And yeah, and she, I think like she, what was it? The next day, yeah, the next day she found out the girl had slept over. Um. And like, and still didn't leave him for six uh, months. He was seeing this girl. She finally found out that he was seeing her. Like he had kept seeing right. this girl because she got chlamydia. Oh, fucking no. chlamydia, which luckily is treatable by like a couple pills. I think one or two pills. Yeah, but still, but still like he gave her a fucking STD because he was cheating on her. Holy shit. Um, she said that she was beyond pissed and he had to beg her. F- he had to beg for her not to leave him. And she ended up staying. No. Yeah. What? Um, she says he cheated on her again. Uh, with his ex and she found photos of naked girls on his phone like all the time Uh, lipstick on his face and when she tried to confront him about it he'd go crazy slamming a car door on her arm hitting her breaking her fingers suffocating her like pretty awful shit like Um, actual physical abuse yeah like I think I think he almost killed her a few times oh my god and she of course by then she was afraid of leaving yeah Um, the uh, uh, let's see oh yeah then they started working at the same place different hours but at the same place um he started cheating on her with a co-worker oh my um God. on christmas eve he was obviously uh like flirting with a girl at a bar this is another girl at a bar yeah. um <laughs> she says she was all over him trying to bite him rubbing her ass all over him sitting on oh the pool God. table with her legs open giving him the come fuck me look she jumped on him and purred sexually in his ear she <sighs> knew he had a girlfriend and didn't give a shit about it had no shame in her game um, wow when uh when she saw all this she made the decision like a couple days later to leave him because the girl looked so dirty like oh, she really God. looked like she had some something going on down there so she said she like she'd already he'd already given her an std before she didn't want another one and or, uh, he or was actually fine not curable. yeah yeah he uh, he was actually fine with her breaking up with him he was like okay see ya bye but he begged her to stay all those before, times before and then and this what time changed? since he had the prospect of a new girl uh, he didn't even care he was just like but he was begging her sure, to stay when he yeah. had the other girl. Yeah, so I guess I guess he really likes this girl because he's with her now. They're back together. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. The, oh, the, 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 the new girl slut at the bar. Yeah. Once, like the moment my friend broke up with him, like he was with this other girl, like the next day. And how long has this been? Do you know? A couple months. Oh, okay. Yeah, a couple months now. Um, and then I want to read the last paragraph of her thing. She yeah. says, one really hard lesson that I learned, once a cheater, always a cheater. See, I never really believed that before, but once I realized the person has such a lack of respect for you, such a selfishness to indulge in, indulge in what... It, and what they want over your heart and such a lack of caring about you as a whole to get to the point where they cheated on you. They will continue to hurt you with others because that hasn't changed about them toward because I don't know what the, what the I don't Typo. understand because that hasn't <laughs> changed about them towards you just because they felt bad about it afterwards. So my advice, once someone cheats on you, in most cases, at least, I think it's safe to say that the relationship is ruined to a point where it will be hard to salvage unless there is some serious love between them. In my opinion, though, the serious love is diminished once you sleep with someone else. Yeah. So yeah, I I really loved her her story, but it's just she's so strong for being able to leave him after all the abuse and cheating and everything like that. That is insane. Yeah, I know. Wow. Crazy. What a story. So sad. I mean, that's that's real <laughs> shit. I mean, yeah. Beating like her this shit and happens, and like, and I think, I think like he has kids, and like the kids love her, and like she would like tuck them in every night, read them bedtime stories, and, and like, that and that's now hard she can't because really see them. yeah, it's like what do you do because you still want to see the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, well, he's he's holding them against her like now, you know, saying, uh, you know, oh, well, you're such a whore, then you can't like he's trying to make it seem like she's the one that was sleeping around, like trying to blame it all on her, what? like it was her well, fault. She's not buying it, right? No, oh, she's okay. like she's. Ser- I she's call done. her my Snow White. Like that is that's her personality. She's yeah. so sweet and she's so like just fragile and like that's you know horrible. good. She's I, just so good. I want to <laughs> hug her. I know. Right now, I don't even know her. <laughs> yeah, but I want to. She's hug a really her. sweet girl. That's and horrible. Yeah. So, so this. Uh, I don't know. This podcast was perfect to get her. I guess so. Kind of talking about it. That, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So, good times. 
you know, it's, it's crazy. Like, as you were telling that story, it reminded me of a story that's much more lighthearted and not serious, which I almost feel like a dick telling it. But no, I was uh, I was out with um, a crazy ex and we we're just hanging out. Uh, she actually I might have told this on the show before. So I'll tell it quickly. She thought we we're in the group. She thought that the waitress was flirting with me because I ordered something. In the waitress, Oh, that's my favorite thing on the menu. Oh, my God. And I was like. Oh, awesome! Like uh, it yeah. sounds really good. I've never had it before, so it's good. She's like, "Oh, it's so good! Like you're gonna love it. That's that's <laughs> you know super cool, whatever." And then you know, set down my food, set down her food, and everyone else's food. And she was like, "She was flirting with you." And I was like, "I don't think she was flirting Girl with me." Be crazy. We just both like the same fucking salad. Huh. And she's like, "No." Do you see? She set yours down. And was all talkity, and then set yours di- or set mine down, and like threw it at me. Basically, <laughs> I was like, "You're fucking kidding me, oh right?" My God. So, anyway, bitches be crazy yeah so oh, bitches be way crazy bitches be fucking loco yeah <sighs> loco indeed shit indeed indeed anyways <laughs> we'll uh we'll move on to yeah so next week's awkward talk is going to be um uh, a, a, an awesome awesome topic that Greg i'm excited actually for came this up one. with I, I finally had a good idea yeah let's hear it <laughs> pity fucks yeah we've all done them we've all received them we want to know about it yep I want to hear all about it. Yeah. So, you know, what was that guy that just looked so lonely you had to fuck him? Yeah. Or, or he was one of those I nights, do that all know? the time. You fuck lonely guys? Oh. <laughs> Is that all I have to do? <laughs> um, yeah, we want to know about your pity fucks. Like, I try to get my my friend who, at this point, I think he's 31-ish. Is he a virgin? Still a virgin. <laughs> I try to get him pity fucked one night. Did not work. Uh, uh. He's not real easy. On the, I mean, he's not like an ugly, hideous beast, but he's not like, you know, like looking across the bar. Hey, you big boy. Are we talking about Mike? No. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be, though. <laughs> so anyway, so yes, pity fucks <laughs> are, are next week's. Uh, I'm stoked. It'll be so I, much I think it'd be fun. good. We want to hear about your pity fucks. Whether you, were you doing the pitying or receiving the or pity. you know somebody. Yeah, I, I think we've all done both for the most part. Received and given pity yeah. fucks. So. I think I was in like a for your relationship was just pity fucks. <laughs> I think you were. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk she about that. She was. I was. So also next episode we're going to be doing uh we're going to be uh airing the the contest results. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing the pickup lines next week yeah. hopefully. Yeah. It's going to hopefully next week it might be like a week and a half, 2 weeks yeah. um because now that we're working now that we're working with a third person trying to get that coordinated we have Bradley on board and he's a you know world famous celebrity now he is we gotta work around his <laughs> schedule so it Dick. just depends on whenever he can uh whenever he can be a part of this yeah so we're working on getting him yeah. involved and so anyways but let's let's let him let's run through the yeah okay so the top three lines. according to our we did have a poll as of like two hours ago these were the results and yeah, as of two o'clock on saturday the 9th of march 2013 yes. and it was like a landslide too um yeah for the number one was huge yeah landslide. it's uh the, okay so number one is let's get drunk and make some bad decisions compliments of john avila yes uh and then these two i think were tied what's the difference between jelly and jam i can't jelly my cock down your throat <laughs> which is my favorite and then uh third third was if i was if i were darth vader i would use the force to choke you in bed uh, that was Mike. The uh, Jelly Jam was Brad, of course. Pretty rad. So we've got three different submissions from three different people. Yes. That are up for the. Yeah, this is good. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we did have. A, I do have a couple honorable mentions. Okay. Because they did receive uh, receive a, a good amount of votes, but <laughs> unfortunately, we're not in the top three. So. Okay. Uh, the first one around you. I'm just a guy with a million words and nothing to say. Oh. I love that. I think it's so it's so cute. Does your heart melt? It really does. I remember it does. Like I actually kind of like that one. I wish it were in the top three. Really? I feel like it's it's very sweet. If a guy people. came up to you at a bar and said that to you. If he said it like just, if it was, it felt, if it felt natural and he said yeah. it to me and I was just like, oh, you're so cute. Like, I feel I, like I would like it. I feel like that's, it's, first of all, it's a great line, but I feel like it's not so much a pickup line and more of a, you've sat there talking for a few minutes, shared a drink or two. You guys are getting to know each other. Yeah, that's true. And then he, maybe he comes back from the bathroom. He's like, you know, I just, Around you, I'm just a guy. You're with right. The, you okay, know. so it's not a pickup line, but it's still great. I mean, it's a great it's a line. line. Whatever line you want to classify it as, yeah. it's a great line. Okay, and then the uh, the other one is which is it's awesome. from Greg. Baby, are you from a newspaper? Because you look like fine print. Oh yeah, <laughs> so dumb. Sixty percent of the time, it works okay. every time. <laughs> yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> and that was, sadly, I'll that's that fresh. was the best of the ones I uh, <laughs> <laughs> submitted, apparently. Oh, it's fun. I like that. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. So, so we're just waiting on Brad. I think he'll probably be uh, 
meeting up with us a couple times this week to yes hopefully so yeah, to do uh, some hopefully OC pickuping and uh, Hollywood pickuping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <we're laughs> so, and you fun. know, it, it'll be interesting because I almost wonder if we should do it twice. Once with Brad and once with somebody of normal stature, because there are Dude, those not cool. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta call him out to be being a midget? <laughs> First of all, he gets so much pussy because he's he gets a midget. so much pussy. He and sent me a, a photo of a of a topless girl, like oh. a girl like flashing yeah. him, and it was awesome. Just pass it this way. Um, <laughs> you know, I wonder if there will be those girls that that go with whatever line he says because mm-hmm. he's a he's a midget, b he's very extremely charismatic, and he's a funny guy. Strangely enough, a lot of girls just want to fuck midgets. It's weird. It's a bucket list thing. Sadly and for him, you're not one of them. I'm not. You know. I just. And yet he still hangs around. He's such a cool fucking guy. He really is. Such a cool guy. And uh, and I, we're going on a road trip next weekend. Oh. So that'll be interesting. That will be interesting. Yeah. Who's yeah. driving? Test of the friendship. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. I'm stoked. Yeah. <laughs> Who's driving? <laughs> He's driving. Yeah. I'm Bu- not driving. Buckle up. I don't want to drive. Yeah. And the awesome thing about this is we can't like switch drivers because I can't drive his car. Right, his car's all <laughs> got specially the, the, modified, Yeah, right? the extended pedals. Uh, that's why I was wondering awesome. who's driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so My favorite part, though, is he does sucker. drive a Mini Cooper. <laughs> he does drive a Mini Cooper, and it's huge. <laughs> it's huge inside. They are actually pretty roomy. You can fit everything in there. <laughs> well, he doesn't, doesn't have a lot to fit. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah, we cannot wait to get this actually taken care of and- and we're gonna, you know, record, and hopefully you can actually hear the audio. You know, clubs are loud and musicy. Yeah. But we're gonna attempt to record the audio. I think I'm gonna do some video. Oh, video would I be think even I better. I want to do some video. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll put a goes. mic on. I got some wireless mics that we can throw under a shirt. And awesome. Yeah. So I think it should be okay. Oh, and but I was I was actually talking to him about this. Um, yeah. We kind of want to make it obvious. Oh. So that okay. so that it's not like, like you know let's get drunk and make some bad decisions she's like okay and yeah. then we're like so you're on a podcast yeah by the way by the way uh, yeah. <laughs> surprise and ha- but instead of have it be like like hey we're doing this yeah like kind of get their consent and then uh, and then go for it and that's too i'm bad. sure that there's going to be a lot of cool people like, yeah no they're totally be fine with it especially should be no video well i guess you might be taking video but um yeah well i mean i would kind of be farther away <laughs> true maybe i don't know Let, uh, let's just do audio but you yeah. know, at least at least have. Well, there now that be we some have video, maybe we should take video. Cool, but that I when I bring that camera around, people like get a little bit creeped out. That might be a good chance for, uh, or a good time to bring out your your phone instead. Or you know what? Right. I have a little tiny camera that's the size of a phone that you could bring. Like with a you. GoPro. Uh, what do you got? It actually what is like the shape of an actual iPhone, really? basically. Yeah, it's a, it's it's waterproof. You know, same concept as a GoPro. But it, I don't think it's as rugged. But it's really cool. awesome. So we'll take that with us, or, okay. if, or if it's just you two that you can take it with you or whatever. But um, sure. yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or you don't have to use it. We might we might just try some it. stuff tomorrow with in in Orange County. Yeah, we're gonna try and set this Fullerton. up. Fullerton. <laughs> Fullerton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cool. Well. Um, awesome. Good times. Indeed. I guess uh, I guess that's about it. I guess uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, not really. Okay, let's get drunk. Thanks for listening. Uh, more iTunes reviews, please. Five stars, comments, mm-hmm. all that good stuff. We like reading them on the I air. I still haven't reviewed it. I read the reviews, but I haven't. You haven't, haven't left a review it. for your own show yet. I know. What is your I feel problem? like that's kind of cheating. It is. It's like voting for yourself. But yeah. here's the thing. Like, you got to move up in the iTunes rankings. Isn't it going to tell, like, isn't it, it's going to have my name on there. Yeah, it'll have your screen name on there. I don't know. Do I have a screen name? Whatever your iTunes login name is. It's just Jenny Ovadia. <laughs> okay. Well, then. you'll know it's me. Right. <laughs> Shit. Which is. <laughs> I tried to I tried to rate without writing a review, but it oh, wouldn't let me. Oh, yeah. You, you can do the stars without a review. It wouldn't let me on my phone. Really? Oh, it may just on your phone. On your computer, you can though. Okay, I'll do that right now. You can you can do that. So, Fine. anyways, uh, <laughs> we'll leave you with uh, one more song from XOXO. Oh, so good. facebookcom XOXO music. Band. Yeah, these guys are great. This yeah. one's called Don't Owe You a Thing. Uh, do check them out. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping they'll get us into some shows or something because I would definitely see oh, these guys live. Oh, I'd love to see them in, uh, in live. We should, we should see who we can suck off for that. Okay. Um, where are we posting the video? Uh, it's going to be on YouTube, of course. Okay. We do have our YouTube. Uh, it's the same as our email, which is Awkward Pod mm-hmm. on YouTube. And for those of you in the Ventura County area, it's going to be on Public Access. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Very Wayne's World. Do we know when? Party on. No, we don't. I'll. <laughs> I'll get that up on the old Facebook Kay. as soon as uh, it's decided when it'll be on. And also on Twitter because it auto posts. Right, of course. Yeah. Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it definitely will be on YouTube shortly, even quicker than on TV. Um, so if you want to watch us sitting here 
drinking and our, send us bands. I drinking love our, our now empty drinks. Yeah, well, yours is empty. Well, yours um, so. Mine's bigger than yours. I <laughs> <laughs> You've heard that story before. of my life. Yeah, but um, no, I, I want people. I want more people to send us bands. Yes. And it doesn't. You know, they don't have to be like famous or anything. That in no. fact, that's the point. I like having local yeah. bands that want some free, you know, exposure and yeah. Um, just you know, and we're some discovering fun. some new music, which is great for us. I love it. Like these guys. Love so. it. XOXO. Yeah, these guys are awesome. So good. So we'll leave you with them. We'll leave you with the thought of us and uh, hope you masturbate to it. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. But I don't